Hey guys, what's up? This is Nathan. You ready to get on with Harvest Moon? Well, let's see what score we got. See if we got that hero rank. We'll see here. Yeah, you are in the title Hero Farmer. As a reward, you get good fertilizer times 70. Sweet! So guys, we got it. That means today we can officially beat the game. And it is fall. And I like fall. I-R-L and in game. The fall music on this game is some of the best music. There is, I'm convinced. Oh man. Well, just for, uh... Actually, no, let's not do that just yet. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and look at our field, figure out what we're gonna do, how we're gonna, you know, do all this stuff with the stuff and crops and everything. Get that done, and then we're gonna try to get up to see the king before it's too late. So, let's see here. Yeah, I guessed wrong. I guessed that, I, that all of these uh, stalks from the plants from last season would be gone, but apparently they are not. So anyway, we'll take care of this, and then we will go on to, uh, to flute fields and buy some seed before we head up to Garmin Mine. But I think I have a good idea of how I'm going to plant this field exactly. See, this field has 120 open spots. The other one has 100, so just watch. You'll see. Okay, so for those of you guys who were asking during the previous uh, summer season, Nathan, why are you storing up so much money and not spending it? Well, this is part of the reason why, is because we're going to spend a lot of money here. I'm going to estimate somewhere in the neighborhood of 20000 Um Let's see. So remember, the one field we want to be fully fertilized, because we're going to grow crops that were fertilized, where fertilization will affect it. Crops like... Um, uh, pumpkin, you know, where it has six to ten days. You know, there's actually like a variable in the days and how long it'll take to, it can take to grow. Anyway, that's what fertilizing uh, affects. So, what I want is I'm going to do rows of 24. I can do five rows of 24. Yeah, five rows of 24. Or five groups of 24, five plants of 24. And the plants I'm going to use are pumpkin seed. Mmm... Let's eggplant grow set in five days, and let's go ahead and plant eggplant over there with our regrowing plants, um, the rest of the regrowing plants in the fertilized field. Eggplants, um, yam is one of those we want to have in that fertilized field, and bell pepper is one of those. And how many is that? Yes, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. So we got room for one more. Carrots. Uh, yeah, carrot is the only other thing, basically, uh, to consider putting in there. That or a flower. So I'll tell you what, let's do blue mist flower seeds, because that is classic Harvest Moon. Special shout out to anybody who can tell me what Harvest Moon game blue mist sour flower seeds first appeared in. Yeah. We may get grapes. You know, we're going to get grapes for the other field, too, because I don't know what grapes look like when they grow, because... They don't actually grow out of the ground like that. They grow on a vine. Anyway, so that takes care of that. And one more. Both fields are now bought up. But what we need to do now is get fertilizer. Remember, we got 70 good fertilizer. We're only fertilizing that field with 120 spaces. So let's get another 50 of the good fertilizer. And then we'll get like 100 decent fertilizer so we can... Uh, whoa, too far. We'll get like 100 decent fertilizer so that we can, uh, you know, have just have some extra to fill in the gaps. 99 will work. So yeah, there we go. About 20,000 uh, gold that we spent there just getting our fields ready. But let's go back and plant those, and hopefully we'll have time to get to the Harvest King. I'm thinking we will if we hurry. Okay, so I'll show you guys kind of the finer points of fertilizing a field. Basically, you can tell how fertilized your field is based on the color. There are other ways to tell, but I just don't want to really, you know, I don't know those that well and I don't want to bother wasting time. Color is much easier. When it's very dark colored, the darker it is, the better the fertilization. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do is go over all of this and basically I'm going to get everything with good fertilizer and then try to judge based on what is left and the color of everything else exactly how much more fertilizer we need. So, like, see, these are all getting pretty dark. This is the part of the field that was fertilized last time. And so it's a little more fertile as it is now. Um, 
But what I want is to get the less fertile parts up to the same level of fertility. Yeah. So filling in the good fertilizer here, then we're going to go back with um, decent fertilizer and get all the lighter colored spots. And where is my other good fertilizer? Right there. Yep, okay. Okay. Field is all fertilized. As you can tell, it's all that uh, sort of solid dark brown color, so that's all at max fertilization. So let's uh, go ahead and plant... And grape seeds is what we do over there. Anyway, let's go ahead and plant some of our crops here. I'm going to do rows of two. 24 should be perfect. I'm going to put blue mist flower seeds out in front because they are so pretty. I like blue mist flowers. They're my favorite flower that doesn't actually exist. Okay. And I'm put some other ones here. What else we got? Bell pepper, yam, pumpkin, and eggplant. And let's do... Let's do bell pepper since they're green. Maybe that'll make it... Make the blue mist flower stand out more if the background is green. I don't know. Ladies, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, guys. Got this field, the complicated one, completely planted. But for the sake of time, we're not going to water it or plant the other field right now. We may do that later on tonight if we have time. But right now, my priority is on getting to the Harvest King at the top of Garmin Mine. Um, getting to him on time. Because... Look at all those mushrooms. Wow. Anyway, because there's a certain time we have to be there by. I think it's maybe like 6 o'clock or so. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, we have to be there by that point. Um, otherwise, we don't actually get there. So, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys know when I'm nearing the top of Garmin Mine. And uh, we can continue our uh, commentary from there. Sure, sounds good to me. Okay, guys, top floor of Garmin Mind, and it is 4 o'clock. We are making great time. So, step out here. We should get a cutscene. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they're just kind of showing us the area, showing us what it's like. Pretty, huh? Yeah. And look, we're actually, like, above the clouds here. That's really awesome. Which is funny, because it was a sunny day and there weren't any clouds when we left. But, oh well. And that is where we're supposed to meet the Harvest King. Or awaken the Harvest King, I guess. So, let's go check that out. On the way, I'm going to be spamming the A button here. Oh, no, maybe that didn't work. Come on. Uh, maybe you have to talk to the Harvest King first or something. No, no, it's up here on the platform, I think. Anyway, cutscene first. Oh man, it's the Harvest Goddess and the Sprites. Nat, you're here! Let's summon the Harvest King! Yeah, let's do it. After that, we're gonna summon Bahamut. Alright, is everyone ready? Ring Red Bell! Ring Blue Bell! Go, Yellow Bell! Green Bell! Purple Bell, Sniffle! I love how it's like a really awesome polyphonic uh, song. Anyway, fire explosion. And they certainly make it dramatic, don't they? Are you the ones who summoned me with the bells? And that guy is about as anime as you get. Hmm, the goddess tree is dying. Follow me. How am I supposed to follow him? He just disappeared.
Hmm, this is worse than I thought. I'm going to need you to do another fetch quest in order to revive the tree. Oh, he's powering up his Kamehameha wave. Oh man. We did it. Net, thank you. This day has finally come. I'm so happy and sleepy. <laughs> wow. Everybody's so happy. Net, thank you very much. Yeah, I can't skip through these lines faster. Thanks to all of you, this land's strength has been restored. And I have regained my power. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. I did something good. Finn, I am in your debt as well. Well, guys, that is essentially the storyline of the game. Remember, restoring the goddess tree does not bring true peace. Nurture this tree so that its power grows, so that it may be shared with other lands. Okay. And there we go. White screen. Unless my Wii just crashed. Nope. Thus, the goddess tree was revived. And nature was restored. Happy ending, huh? Oh, picture show! That's a silkworm. We don't have any yet. That's a fish. But that's pretty obvious. The people were so thankful and vowed to protect nature so it would not be lost again. Hmm. I wonder if they have any other agenda in the message of this game or something. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, pumpkin. Oh, my gosh, that minecart's falling off the edge. Oh. Did you see that? The wheel was off the edge. Oh, that was terrifying. Ah, oh, the five bells, restored with the help of a human, will echo on forever. Really? How do we know th those bells are not going to stop echoing as well? I mean, if these stopped at one point, who's to say those are not going to stop again? Yeah, I like this. Just kind of general harvest moon life. This is awesome. I was talking with a friend of mine the other day, and so... I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about Harvest Moon, and uh, it's just such a peaceful, happy game, you know, it's just, it's relaxing to play it. it just kind of helps you deal with stress. Oh, what's Finn doing? Is he going to leave us now? Oh, man. Nat! Tomorrow's another day. Let's keep working to make this town a better place. So we get to keep working. One of the best aspects of any video game is a sandbox-like ending where you can continue. I love it. Yeah! Picture with everyone. We're all happy. Sweet. And it is now 10 o'clock. That's awesome. We got so much done. Let's see if we can hurry up and get our last field planted and get everything watered uh, real quick and see if the animals have all eaten as well. 
It would be really nice if we could get everything done before midnight and then go to bed. So we'll plan on that. Okay, let's see here. Animals... Eaten... Chickens, eaten, other cow. Eaten, looks like. Yeah, everybody's had time to eat, so let's put up the animals. And let me hurry up and plant this other field and see if we can water it real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, just barely made it. Anyway, fields are watered, so we're going to get a good early start on our crops this season. And all the animals are taken care of. And most importantly, most excitedly, we ended up officially beating the game. Now, there's still some more stuff we're going to do. But for the right now, for the moment, let's revel in the reality that, guys, we did it. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I am very happy. We got this game done in two seasons and a day, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm very pleased with that. I hope you guys are as well. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway, guys, this is the end of Season 1 for Harvest Moon Animal Parade. So, guys, I want to encourage you to stick tuned, stay tuned for... Season number two. I'm going to try doing that a little bit different way, and we'll see how it works out. Any feedback is appreciated. But guys, thanks a lot for watching and going with me through this first season, because uh, well, it just means a lot. I'm glad I could get through this game, and I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. We still have some goals on the game. We still want to get married. Still want to maybe have a couple kids or something like that. But anyway, that'll all be taken care of later. Friends, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time... Stay frosty.